What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here with the distance. We got a post fight video for you guys. This one is Manny Pacquiao versus Shane Mosley. Post fight, this match took, just took place a few minutes ago. Um, put together the champion Manny Pacquiao against the challenge of Shane Mosley. Uh, I believe it was for the WBO Welterweight Championship. I'm not too sure. Um, really, who cares? But anyway, this was a match that was dominated totally by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao came forward, he was the one throwing the jabs, he was the one taking the lead, he was the one throwing the combinations throughout the whole entire fight. Uh, he just pretty much came forward the whole entire match and then found, you know, and he established something using the jab. He used the jab to set up everything. He used the jab to set up the combination, he used the jab to set up the power shots, he used the jab to to begin the knockdown of um, Shane Mosley. So, overall it was a good match for Manny Pacquiao. And you know, there's really no need to go into it by go go into it round by round because just if you look at the matchup, Manny Pacquiao just controlled the matchup using his jab and using using aggression. Um, hands down, that's all he had to do in this match was use aggression, use his jab, and his jab set up the aggressive shots that he used up top. Um, something to, something to um, point out in this matchup is that Shane Mosley was knocked down like the second or third round. He was knocked down. So with that knockdown, Shane Mosley was a little more uh, leery about of what he threw and and what shots to throw in this matchup. Because Pacquiao was so quick and Pacquiao was so um pretty much was, was so much dangerous that he just didn't throw that many shots in this fight. Uh, and something to point out in this matchup. Um Something also to point out is that Shane Mosley didn't really have a chance to um, to um, pretty much get his shots off. He didn't have a chance to get his shots off because Pacquiao was so quick. And Pacquiao pretty much just took it to him the whole entire matchup. And to point out is Pacquiao was not as aggressive as he was in his previous fights. He wasn't as aggressive, but he was assertive. His assertiveness is what pretty much did, did the fight for him. The assertiveness was what pretty much led to all the openings that he had. See, I believe I personally believe that Shane Mosley was looking for openings in this match. He was looking for a nice left counter or a nice right hook counter. And he couldn't find it against Pacquiao. He couldn't find it because Pacquiao wasn't throwing as much. He wasn't as aggressive. So Shane Mosley didn't have much to try to control. He didn't have much of a utilizer in this matchup. So with Pacquiao being you know less aggressive then he had less to do in this matchup. His jab was very good in this match. I'm not gonna lie, his jab was very good. His jab was very stiff. But his jab didn't set up anything. His jab was just his jab. You know, he was just throwing the jab just to throw the jab. But Pacquiao's jab was setting up a lot of shots. His jab looked very good in this match. His jab, you know, set up his combinations. And that's really all you can say his jab was used for, was set his combinations. Overall, this whole match was a matchup for Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao had this matchup hands down. Mosley, I could say Mosley maybe had a round in this match, a round or two. Pacquiao just controlled this matchup and controlled Mosley. So, what is the next match we're going to see with Pacquiao? I would... Personally, I would love to see him fight Mayweather, but personally, I see him fight more than likely a Marquez. If something is not agreed with Golden Boy, I see him fighting a Marquez in the next matchup if Bob Arum agrees to fight with Marquez. If Bob Arum agrees to that fight, to the fight with the best timing in the game, I'm going to say, you know, it's, it's going to be a good match because Pacquiao is getting better with each fight. He's getting better. He's getting more patient. And just overall, he's just getting better with how he throws his punches. He's getting much better. So I'm going to go with pa I would even go with Pacquiao in a rematch, in a third match with Marquez. I would go with Pacquiao because he's looking really good at this weight class. Is, pa is Marquez the kryptonite, kryptonite to Pacquiao? I don't know. But overall, Pacquiao is looking good. Pacquiao pretty much dominated Shane Mosley. Dominated him. Keyword dominate. Shane Mosley, it's not the beer or the four local or anything talking. I just think he dominated them. Each and every round, he's came came in, 
and just put put a lot of pressure on Mosley, which is what fires him really do to Mosley. And Mosley wasn't able to counter as well as he was able to against other fires. So Pacquiao, man, right now Pacquiao is the man. I'm not gonna lie, Pacquiao is the man right now, and he's the man to beat. So shame if um, Floyd Mayweather Jr. comes back, um, and decides to fight, you know somebody Pacquiao is the man to beat, hands down. So anyway, guys, this is the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.